Most presidents, when they give a State of the Union address, foreign policy is not the first thing they focus on. But the United States, under Biden's leadership, is now heavily involved in the uh, campaign to get Russia to withdraw from Ukraine, where they launched a war last week. And tonight, I'm announcing that we will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights. And probably one of the biggest announcements of his speech that the United States will be joining the Canada and the European Union in banning Russian flights from crossing U.S. airspace. And so we heard him talk about autocrats like Putin. They have to be stopped because if they aren't stopped, what they're doing will spread beyond Ukraine to other countries. And that was a point that we've heard him make before. But he had a much bigger platform to make that point tonight in terms of explaining more to the American people why the United States is involved. And he didn't really take advantage of that. And with all the bright spots in our economy, record job growth, higher wages, too many families are struggling to keep up with their bills. More than six and a half million jobs have been created since President Biden took office. So on the job creation front and uh, some of the other metrics by which economic performance is measured, the economy is doing pretty well. But it's just that inflation and what people are feeling in their daily lives when they go to the grocery store, when they go to buy gasoline, they're paying more for lots of things and they just don't feel that uh, the economy is working for them. So the president really needs to try to turn that around, not only to help himself, but also to help Democrats who are going to be running in the fall for their seats for re-election to the House and, and the Senate. So what the president is trying to do tonight is kind of repackaging a lot of the proposals that were in the previous bill, which he had called Build Back Better. Uh, and tonight he kind of renamed it Building a Better America. The components, the name may be different, but the components are still the same. And he talked about allowing Medicare to negotiate drug prices as one way to combat inflation. He called for raising the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour. It will be one of these, we have to wait and see situations to see what exactly Congress will pass and send to the president's desk this year. Uh, in addition to all of the things that he wants and the competing priorities in Congress, there is an opening on the Supreme Court that needs to be filled. There are budget bills that still need to be passed. 